Brant Buckley music. We have a special artist, Ken Queter, Remember Me. It's a combination of Bob Dylan, Dave Van Rock, David Bowie. Philadelphia special artist. This guy has not been given his due, and he's a great artist. So I'm going to go and play part of the song right now, and then I'll start showing you how to play it. Capos on the 4th fret standard tuning, basic shapes, C, F, C, and G, that's your intro, but really this C major here is an E major because of the capo. This F major 7 is actually an A major 7, and this G major is actually really a B major. So if you don't know C major in this case, Ring's going to be on the 7th fret of A, middle will be on the 6th of D, G is open, the capos are on the 4th, index is on the 5th, and then you have the open E string. In this case, the open's actually the 4th fret. F major 7, ring finger is on the 7th of D, middle is on the 6th of G, index is on the 5th of B, high E, open, the fourth fret with the capo. Back to C, and now here's your G, really a B major. Ring finger on the seventh of low E, middle on the sixth of A. The D, G, and B are open with the capo there, and the pinky's on the seventh. So really what's happening, the rhythm I think about is a half note, one, two, and then three, and four, and and we do that for all chords. So if you have the C, one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and. That's how I think of this song. Also on the ends, the up, I'm just hitting three strings up. For the down beats or the down strums, you can hit all the strings going down. That's just the intro of the song. Then we can move right on to the verse, and then there's a chorus, and those are the main parts of the song. So going forward, I'm not going to call the chords what they are. I'm just going to call them what they would be in standard tuning, C, G, etc., etc. So for the verse, the first four bars, it's going to be a repeat of the intro. You have the C, the F major 7, back to the C, and then back to the G. Now these next eight bars, it's going to change a little bit. So then it's going to back to F major 7, C major, these next two are going to be new. What would be in E major in standard tuning, really it's going to be a G sharp major here. Then we would go to a A minor, A minor over G. So let's just go over those chords real quick. E major, a G sharp major. All you're going to do, middle finger goes on the sixth of A. Ring is going to go on the sixth of D. Index, fifth of G. A minor, it's basically that same shape. You just drop it down one and you're not playing the low E string now. And for the A minor over G, you just bring the pinky over, it plays this bass note here on the seventh of low E. So after that, it goes to a full bar chord F, not the F major seven, full bar chord F. So that's just barring what would be the fifth fret here. Ring goes on the 7th of A, pinky on the 7th of D, middle goes on the 6th of G. Back to our, your G. And now, it's going back to C major. We'll call this the Who move, because the Who do this a lot. This would be a C sus 4. So in that measure, C major, 
to see sus4, all you do is then you'd put your pinky one ahead of your middle finger on the D string and back to C. So that's a lot of analytical stuff there. Let me just play this so you guys can hear it. Kind of the same thing as the intro, here's where it's different. F major 7. Here's that E. So let's talk about the, the hardest part there is that E major to that A minor and, and that A minor over G. Again on the E, the main rhythm for this song is just a half note and, and four eighth notes. One, two, three, and four, and down, down, up, down, up. Now I'm not using a pick. You can use a pick, it doesn't matter. So when you get to that A minor, the rhythm is a quarter note. Down, down, up. So that's a quarter note and two eighth notes. One, two, and, and then for the A minor over G, three, I just kind of hit that once. Three, four, and. So you really want to get on your tips for that part when you play four and. So again, it's one, two, and, and here's a three, and then you're going into your F major. So that's the intro in the verse. The chorus, where he's singing Remember Me, uh, it's a little bit longer. Same chords, nothing changes, so we'll just go over the form. Okay, so you start with the F full bar chord, same rhythm. So the first four are F, G, C, C. So we'll take it in, in fours here four measures at a time. Two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and... So the next four, the same thing. So now the next four are going to be F, G, E major, and then it's going to A minor, that A minor and A minor over G. So let's do that. By the way, my, my favorite chord in this song is that, that E major, just everything pops with that chord, that amazing chord in this song. So the last five measures are going to be F, G, C, G, G, and then it repeats, it goes back to the beginning. So these are the three forms within the song, your intro, your verse, and your chorus. So let's play those last five. extra measure of the G really has that, really it wants to resolve back to, to home, which is the C chord. So that's Ken Queter, Remember Me. You can follow me on Brant Buckley Music here on YouTube. Subscribe. If you have any questions, you can leave your comments, any songs you want me to do. Back in action now. And I hope you like the song. It's a, it's a great tune. That's all.